Lizzie, so we go to Flemington this weekend. You've got Griggers uh, and the Danehill Stakes over uh, 1,200 metres. Yep, she's a nice progressive filly and obviously been very impressive in her, her first two runs in. Um, she's, she's trained on well since that. She's had a couple of easy days and then did a bit of work on Monday with Dave here. Um, she's going as good as, good as ever. It's a tough race, um, but I think she deserves to be in it. And you've got Churchill Dancer also in this race? Yeah, his first up run at Geelong was good. Just um, probably strip a lot fitter from, from that first up run. He's just a little bit tubby and um, he's won here at Flemington, so he's back to his old stomping ground. He should run well. Is he ready to go on to bigger races, as in longer races? I think so. He's, um, we always thought he'd be better miler, but we never got up to that in his, in his prep. So he's quite brilliant. He's been quite brilliant over 1,200 and eventually with, you know, with him being a little bit older, we'll step him up over a bit of distance. Then you've got I Am Titanium uh, and goes in the Henry Bucks Best Dress Stakes over tw uh, 1,400 metres. Yeah, Dave's ha always had a nice opinion of this horse as a two-year-old and he just has really come back and matured well and he looks a treat. He's, he's really, really, really going well. And where can we see him over the spring? Um, Dave probably thought, well, uh, all being well would take one step at a time, but Saturday, if, it's, if he was to win Saturday, you'd, you'd have to have a, have a go at the guineas, I think, with him. Then uh, you've got Bull Buller, he comes in the domain 1,100 metres. Yeah, she was very unlucky last start in the Cosette, um, and she's... You know, she was blocked for a run, and she was she was unlucky. There was a few unlucky horses in that race, but she's uh, gone up to the farm, and she seems to have come on a lot since that run. And she's come down here on on uh, Saturday, and and um, she looked for a, a good second up run. Well, she couldn't get a run. It does does look like she was going to run pretty well, and she comes to a bigger track. She's going to have a lot more room to get out and uh, size her options. That's it. Yeah, she's she didn't have much room, and and uh, so she wasn't let down. So we couldn't really have it as a first up run. You know, she was just just did nothing, but. Yeah, with a bigger track and hopefully draw a gate, she should um, put her best foot forward. And Jetaway, we've all heard about him. He goes into the Maccabi Diva Stakes over a mile, and uh, how's he looking uh, coming up for a really big spring for him? Dave's very happy with him. He's um, not the flashiest of track workers, but he came down here about three weeks ago and had a jump out down the straight and, and didn't disgrace himself, and he had another jump out at the farm, I heard, and David's very happy with him. He said he'd be very forward for a good first up run. He's got the first up uh, record as well, he, you know, and he does look pretty good and coming from that uh, Caulfield uh, Easter Cup win as well. Yeah, it's an exciting race for him to be in, but he deserves to be there. He's also got a bit of pressure on him, obviously being the uh, Caulfield Cup favourite. I mean, what's, what's David saying about him and how's he going to go this spring? Because everyone's just, uh, you know, we're getting to the exciting time of Caulfield Cup. Well, he doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, light up the track at home, so we'll just let him do the talking on the racetrack. I think that's, um, we're excited to see how he goes first up, and we guess plan a path from there. But he's, as I said, you know, he couldn't have asked any more from him last prep, and he looks great. He's doing everything that we expect of him, and we just got to see him do it on the racetrack. Pago Rock and Whispers Down going to Sofitel over 1,400. We'll start with Pago Rock. Yeah, we've nommed uh, Pago and Whisper both for the Bobby Lewis and the Sofitel. Um, we won't cl they won't clash. One will run in the 1200, one will run in the 14. I think they're leaning um, Whisper for the 14 and, and Pago for the 1200. But, you know, they both come back in good order. Oh, well, uh, Pago's had a few, had a prep already, but um, uh, Whisper's come back in good order. And he's, you know, he's, the form around him with Lindari winning at the weekend is, is good. Obviously, Pago Rock is, is obviously a better sprinter option for him to go down the straight. So uh, how, how's he going to handle going down the straight, not being here for a while? Um, well, he's won down here and he's a, a seasoned campaigner, so I think he should be. No problems. And uh, then we've got uh, Why Not in the uh, Sofitel's Girls Day Out 2000 metre race. And what do you think of his first up run? I thought it was a good first up run. Um, he's a horse that appreciates a bit of sting out of the track and... He should. Um, I don't. I don't think he's going to get that here Saturday. But he's um, his first up run was solid, and he's very fit. He's had a gallop in gallop at Wangaretta with uh, Motivado in between races, and um, I think he's. I think he should go well. As I said, if we got a bit of sting out the track, he'd be more confident. Is he improving? He is improving. I think it takes. This is his second campaign, so it, they all seem to um, progress in their second campaign, and I think that he is improving into a nice horse. Global uh, balance and El Zora going the Let's Elope over 1,400 metres and, and looks a pretty good race, this one. Yeah, it is a good race. Um, El Zora's, uh, she's...
been shown to run very well first up. She won the vanity here at Flemington first up last prep and she's come back a bigger and stronger mare and she, she looks like she's, uh, she's grown a hand and filled out even more and she should run very well. And Global Balance? Global Balance, she's also a very good, very good mare. She's, she probably takes a run or two to just get going, but um, she had good group three form when she won the Tassie Oaks in Tasmania and, and she's come back in great order, so we're looking for a great run. Well, the Lindsay Park would light up Flemington this Saturday, so who, who's the one to beat uh, in your eyes? <laughs> I'm the worst tipster, so I'll just go for one of the best races. I'll go for Jetaway.